when the price gives herself on a plate ladies it does not have a value Shida here and for the best dating and relationship advice please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I upload a new video every Wednesday and Sunday. In this video I will share with you five situations where you should never text the guy first. And ladies I'm not saying you should never text him first but I'm saying in these specific situations do not be the one pursuing him as it will backfire. So ladies, the first situation is never text the guy to ask him out. He is a man, you are a woman, he is the pursuer and if he wants to take you on a date, he must ask you on a date. And it's not even because do we have to follow these ridiculous rules, it's just how it is guys actually get turned off when you ask them out. Sure, first he might be happy and may even show to all of his friends, oh, look at this hot chick, she just asked me out. But near the date time, it's very likely that he will cancel with some excuse. And it's simply because by pursuing him, you are turning him off. As you are emasculating him, showing him that you are too keen and the challenge is gone. When the prize gives herself on a plate, ladies, it does not have a value. Now ladies, if you are in a happy relationship where he is actually asking you to take him out or arrange something or you want to do it yourself and there has been a lot of investment from him and you know for sure that he is crazy about you, it's okay to do that sometimes but definitely not in the beginning stages of relationship. Second situation is never text a guy first to confirm the date. If he asks you out and the date is coming near the time, do not get impatient trying to confirm it first. Stay patient and let him confirm it. If the day is on Saturday, let's say evening, and he texts you at 5 p.m. to confirm it, because he played the game and waited for last minute for you to text first. Well then ladies, it's way too late. If he doesn't confirm the date till the reasonable time, there is no date. If he tells you he forgot, well, do you want to go on a date with a guy who forgets that he has a date with you? Same thing if he tells you, can you please remind me to confirm it? I mean, seriously. If he starts to put the blame on you and tells you why you couldn't confirm it, well, ladies, be ready for him pulling out the equality card regularly and trying to convince you that it's okay to pursue man, it's okay to have one night stands, it's okay to split the bill 50-50, but we are the same and the list is basically endless. Ladies, please watch my video why you should not pursue men, which you can find just by following the link right here and I will also also drop it down in the description box. The third tip, never text him first after the date. Let him text you first after the date. You had a fun time, that's great, you can see it on a date. For example, thank you for dinner, thanks for taking me here, that was fun, thanks for walking me home, that's it. You don't touch your phone to text him after you let him initiate again. Why? Well, let's say you had an awesome time. You did, he did. So now, if he wants to have an awesome time with you again, he is a man and you let him take the lead and pursue you again for it. Also, ladies, this way you will give him a bit of uncertainty. He will be like, whoa, I thought we had a great time, but she isn't chasing. It creates uncertainty and uncertainty is one of the guy's love needs. So you 
you just being feminine and letting him take the lead you fulfill your own need which is safety and security while he is pursuing you to take you out and you are complimenting him by literally just letting him take the lead while at the same time giving him uncertainty it's actually really beautiful um, how the world is designed if we actually chose to follow the rules tip four never text him first when he is on a pull away when a guy is on a pull away that is not the time to chase him as this is when he will want to talk to you the least so for example if he hasn't texted you for a few days but everything before was fabulous it is very likely that he's just on a pull away recharging his battery do not chase a man when he is on a pull away as he simply will not respond well just give him space and time and let him come to you please watch my video why men need to pull away which you can find just by following the link right here and i will also drop it down in the description box below tip five never text him first if he was rude mean or disrespectful to you ladies if a man has disrespected you and you are texting him first ladies you are giving him attention by rewarding his negative behavior he does not deserve that when he has been mean and disrespectful therefore if he has been disrespectful do not text him first after let him come to you and make things up even if it's going to take him a while ladies do not give in by starting to chase as he will lose respect for you and without respect there is no love please watch my video how to get a man to respect you which you can find just by following the link right here and i will also drop it down in the description box so my ladies now you know in which circumstances you should never text a guy first but do you know how to get a man to chase you and for this please check out the link right here and down in the description box like it if you liked it share it with the ladies who need it join my secret society on facebook which is called Greta's High Value Woman School. We are there in the same boat, learning how to be women of high value and bring out the best in our men. Follow me on my Instagram. My Instagram is called Ladies Relationship Coach. And for one-on-one -on -one coaching, book me through my website and get in touch with me over WhatsApp as that is where I coach. Thank you so much for watching, Queens. Kisses from London. Mwah.